Producers, big news. MIDI is now included in Loop Cloud. You can audition 250,000 MIDI files in real time and change the preset preview live in the Loop Cloud app. All of the MIDI files are key and BPM synchronized so that you can effortlessly build tracks using Loop Cloud's multi track features. And if you'd like to take your MIDI files out of Loop Cloud and into your door, no problem. You can do that with just one click. Let's dive in and explore more. So once Loop Cloud is open, we now have access to hundreds of thousands of MIDI files. Right now, I'm really in the mood to create some music, but I don't have too specific an idea about what exactly I'm aiming to make. Loop Cloud does have some really intuitive features which will help guide my ideas naturally. Usually when I'm writing songs, I like to start off things with a strong melodic lead to set the tone of the track. I think I'm going to pick the key of G as heavy basses often sound best around the F to A range and that will be important later on. There are some really useful tools here, like the pitch locking feature, where you can select your key, in this case G, and all new content will automatically snap to this key. Loop Cloud actually has six different preview formats, so you can play around to get what you think is the best template for the part. The six formats pretty much cover all bases with basic, pluck, saw, filtered saw, had, and drums. We'll get to hear how these complement the different MIDI types as we build out the track. Plucks and saws work best for leads in my opinion. Now, if we press edit, we enter Loop Cloud's multi-track area. We can essentially create an entire track within Loop Cloud with up to eight tracks, utilizing the entirety of Loop Cloud's sample library and the vast new collection of 250,000 plus MIDI files and a bunch of tools like the pattern section, which will be super useful when we're using one shots. Right, it's time to start building this track out. Perfect complement to a thrilling lead, heavyweight bass. Let's use Loop Cloud's intuitive search tools to find a bass that pairs well with our lead. Let's take our lead up an octave so that when we're previewing stuff, the lead and the bass are in different registers, as otherwise this will clash. Sounding pretty good. Now let's get the engine running and find a big old kick drum. For the kick, we'll go with a loop. And for the hi-hat, a one-shot, which we can use Loop Cloud's pattern tool to get it grooving. Remember, if you want to change up the sound of the MIDI lead so it doesn't get boring, you can head in and change the preset. We've now got the bare bones of a track here, but let's take it to the next level. There are five types of MIDI now available in Loop Cloud. Harmonic, melodic, lead, chord, and percussion. Some backing chords to this piece would really give it some space and depth. This is shaping up into a nice, spacious, melodic form of techno, and I personally love adding drones and hypnotic elements to tracks like these. Let's find some MIDI that will help us fill that gap. Okay, I think we're almost there. Let's utilize some percussion to fill out the drums a bit more. Right, we've got the basis of our track. We can now drag this into our door and edit, mix, and process to our heart's content. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. By pressing export, the default setting will be current mix, which creates a WAV loop of your entire multi-track mix. But if you head into export settings, you can get each individual track separately by choosing processed separate files. Now this is definitely the option I want today as I can now spend time choosing great synth sounds to fill my MIDI files while being able to tweak my mix further to my heart's content. And here's the final product.
Now, that's just a quick overview of Luke Cloud's MIDI capabilities. Perfect for the creative mind. Just open it up and the music starts writing itself.